Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR, HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. Welcome to the Practical Mystic. I'm Maureen St. Germain, and this is Talk Radio to help you make every day a day of heaven on earth. Using the information we provide, you'll learn practical living souls to make a meaningful life joyful and fun. Today, we have author Jean Adrian, the developer of Innerspeak, a karmic clearing tool. She leads, teaches this method internationally and offers private sessions via phone or Skype. And she is the author of four books, including Two Decks of Healing and Motivational Cards. She has a BA in Psychology and has completed a four-year program from, for education for ministry from the University of, of the South. Her website is Jean Adrian. Uh, Jean, you can go ahead and spell it for us. A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E. <laughs> okay, and welcome to our show. Thank um, you, Maureen. Today, <laughs> Today's show is part of our once-a-month educational show to reach out to you, our clients and customers, to let you know a little bit more about some of the things we're doing and to give you uh, useful information that will help you make your life magical. And Jean and I were involved in co-authoring a book and Actually, Jean is the brainchild behind this book and organized all the authors together. And because of that, it's my deep pleasure to talk a little bit about the book. But before we do, I will let you know that I am a mystic and mom author and teacher of advanced spiritual techniques uh, in Ascension work. You'll come away from uh, events with me, Empowered and Transformed. Since 1994, I've traveled and taught meditation, sacred geometry, and manifestation. My numerous published works, books, CD, DVD, are bestsellers on Amazon and bookstores. And I am still in Asia, and we are pre-recording this, so this is very cool. I'm so excited to be able to do this. Um, so, Jean, tell us, tell our audience, what was the brainchild behind the book? Well, you know, Maureen, it started just kind of like pretty much everything starts. It started off as a thought or a wild hair, you might say. Um, I was uh, I was just kind of sitting around one day contemplating my belly button, I suppose, and um, I thought, you know, my passion is conscious creation, and I, pretty, I know a lot about it, and I know other people who know a lot about it, but they do it all differently than me than I do. And wonder what would happen if I pull together nine people to look at conscious creation from nine different viewpoints. And if we just gave all that information away, you know, we didn't really try to sell anything, but we did our own little telesummit. Um, and I wonder what would happen with that. And so I have this friend, Leslie Amerson, who had just uh, maybe six months before, had actually orchestrated a telesummit um, that was one of these ones. I mean, there's so many of them out there today where, you know, you sign up and all the speakers are selling things. You buy package A or package B and, you know, whatever. And and Leslie had done one of those, and I participated in hers. And so I called her up and I said, you know, I got this idea, and I'd like to do a telesummit, and I know you know how to do it. Would you be interested in helping me and she said yes sure why not 
And so then I contacted nine people, or well, actually would seven other people besides Leslie and myself, um, and I said, you know, this is what we want to do. Um, are you interested in playing with us? And they said, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's how it started. And we actually did two rounds of this. And how we were originally going to do it was there would be round number one, that, and then like six months later, round number two, where each of the presenters would talk about their subject matter area, but from where they had, had grown in the six months between the first one and the second one. And then we were going to do round three, and we were going to do it as an intensive on a cruise ship. And that way all the people who decide to come on the cruise with us would, you know, they'd have seven nights at sea with their nine subject matter experts. And, Mm. you know, it it sounded really good, and it was a very popular two events. And um, But what didn't happen was the cruise. And I don't know, I think that a lot of that had to do with the economics of the time and um, whatever. Uh, so that one didn't happen. We canceled the cruise. Um, but what we decided to do was I asked everybody if they would take their area of expertise and write a chapter, and let's just make a book out of it. And I think originally I thought what we would do would be we would self-publish it as an ebook on Amazon. You know, no big deal. And... Yeah, it's interesting how when you put these ideas out into the universe, as, as you so well know, and you've been teaching it since 1990, whatever, because um, you know you were. I, I, I guess I started following your work back in in the mid 90s. Um, hmm. You know, we got on that Fibonacci spiral. <laughs> yes, 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 and yes. That's before very we cool. knew it, we had actually a mainstream big publishing house pick up our book. We didn't self-publish it on Amazon. It's actually a real book put out by a real publisher, and the book will be available May 1st. Nice. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Well, for my part, it was I, I, I went to the altar and asked, what should I put in this book? What material would be really important for people to have? And we'll talk about that in a section, in a sec, sec, section of time. It's easy for you to say. Anyway, um, One of the things that I have cared about deeply is the higher self. Mm. And so that's what the chapter is about and how to have a really accurate higher self connection. And in your case, one of the things that you have created that I absolutely love is your DNA cards and your book around it. And that's what your chapter is about. And I'm so excited about this because it's like the best of the best. Everyone took the very best work they had. Yeah. and compiled it, which is why the publisher um, took up this project, which is so cool. I so know, tell us about your chapter, because I think people would like to hear about individual things within the book. Sure. Yeah, so, um, you know, my again, it seems like so much of, of my life is through serendipity, but I know that there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. And I had, back in the day, many years ago, I had bought this little cabin, uh, a log cabin up in the middle of the mountains, the North Georgia mountains in the middle of the woods. And I would go up every weekend to sort of recompose and relax and recenter myself. And I would write nice. Very nice. and meditate, you know, and do the things that you do in nature when there's nobody else around. And so one Friday afternoon I was driving to the mountains, me and my dog, and um, I heard a voice in my head or in my car, I don't know, and basically what the voice said was, today we want to talk to you about DNA. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and they said, yeah, um, you know, you humans. Now let's stop for a minute and play with this because this okay. is kind of cute. You're a psychology major and you heard a voice in your head, and I don't blame you for going, what? <laughs> exactly. And, well, it wasn't the first time I ever heard a voice in my head because my work in speak started off with uh-huh. one of those voices in my head. I was driving. Cool. And these things happen in my car. Things happen to me in the car, and they happen to me in the shower. And yeah. my so the whole inner speak thing, thing came sure. in in the car uh, when they said, you know, you're done with all the work you've done up to this point. And I'm like, wait a minute. Don't you be taking my job away from me unless you've got something better. Silence. 
<laughs> You're done uh, with the work you've done. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've had that happen, too, where this conversation starts and then I make some comments and silence. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm hard-headed, and so I tend to try to argue with spirit. And <laughs> probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but, you know, we usually come to a happy medium somewhere along the way. And, you know, so when this voice told me that they wanted to talk to me about DNA, I was like, okay, well, this happened before, and it usually ends up pretty good, so I better, I better shut up and listen. And um, what they said was that at some point in the human species, we had not two strands of DNA, but 144. And mm -hmm. because your work is all about sacred geometry, and, and my inner speak work is, is based on sacred geometry as well, um, when they mentioned 144, they had my attention. Because right. that number, you know, crops up so often, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're, when you're talking about sacred geometry. And they said, yeah, no, wait a minute, Gene, don't go into victim mentality here. Nobody came and took your DNA strands away from you and dumbed you down. I don't care what other people have said. That's not what happened. What they said was that um, there was a species of, you know, a civilization that had become um, uh, uh, infertile through things that had happened on their planet, they were no longer able to reproduce, and they were dying out. And um, they started searching around the galaxies, you know, way back in the day, um, until they found planet Earth, which to them was like the Garden of Eden. They had this species of beings that had 144 strands of DNA, which was, in their mind, a gracious plenty for not only the Earthlings, but also for themselves. And exactly how all this happened, I don't really know. That wasn't part of the information they gave me. But they said, suffice it to say, that they worked with your species, and by the time they left, they had what they needed in order to be able to reproduce themselves and to heal their, their civilization. And you humans had two strands of DNA, and up until this point, you've basically been fat, dumb, and happy with two strands of DNA, thinking, well, okay, I'm cool. Um, However, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. There are lots of people who will um, activate your advanced DNA mm -hmm. and that type of thing. Where does that sit with your knowing? Um, well, basically what they said was that it's time for the human species to reclaim all of those 144 strands. And there are a lot of people who have methodologies to help us do that. Got it. There's okay. no right way okay. or wrong way. It's just a matter of we need to do it. Got it. And, you know, so find the person that you resonate with and go there and work with them. And, you know, because what they said was that um, in addition to the genetic material that we shared out of the beneficence of our hearts, and, you know, I think that for all intents and purposes, the human species is a very beneficent species. We're all about mm. love, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we do Very tend to generous. share, sometimes to our fault. But they said that, that what we didn't realize was that associated with each of these strands of DNA was an aspect of consciousness, of Christ consciousness, if you will, that we gave away at the same time that we gave away the genetic material. So basically we gave away 142 of our gifts and abilities without realizing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what they said was that there have been humans that have come to planet Earth that have had all of their DNA intact. And an example that they gave me was Jesus. They said he had all of his DNA intact, and so he was able to do things that the average Joe in his time couldn't do, like walk on water, like heal the sick, raise the dead, you know, create wine out of water, you know, and, and all the different things that, that were written about um, in the scriptures as miracles, these were things that he was doing because he had all of his strands of DNA intact. And who else did they say has been on Earth with all their DNA intact? They gave me a lot of different people, um, one of which was Mohammed, um, one was Gandhi, uh, one was Martin Luther King, believe it or not. Cool. Um, Very yeah. cool. Uh, you're going to laugh on this one? Another one that they said that has all of his DNA intact is Jimmy Buffett. Interesting. Yeah. So 
Um, but anyway, they said, and, and they said, number one, all these people don't necessarily realize that they're different. You know, so so there's that. But um, they said that we're approaching a time in the um, the ongoing evolution of your planet where you know it really is in your best interest for you to activate all of your DNA strands. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And they said one way that you can do it is you can draw 142 pictures, glyphs, if you will, and each of these pictures will hold the energy of a latent strand of DNA. And I went, whoa, wait a minute, I don't draw. And they said, yeah, sure you do. You, um, we happen to know that at your cabin, where you're headed right now, you have not one but two packs of colored pencils you've never opened and a brand new sketch pad that you've never used. And so when you get there, we'll show you how to create these, <laughs> these glyphs. And I was like, you're right. And Maureen, I've never had, uh, you know, I've never had any artistic ability in my entire life. I mean, I draw stick figures. You know, yeah, me and too. I totally get that. At best. <laughs> and so they, uh, I sat down because I mind well. I'm a firstborn child. You know, I do what people tell me to do. And so I sat down with my pack of pencils and my pad, and I said, "Okay, you're on, guys. Show me what you're talking about here." And the first um, glyph that I drew was one called immortality. And um, and it's quite an interesting thing. Um, it's almost cruciform in nature, but it's like a crucifix that has DNA strands winding down the middle of it. Hmm. And um, and, and they tell me that yeah, this is this is the picture, and the name of this is immortality. And they gave me a meaning for what it meant to activate that. And I was like, I really got you know, my ego was like, woohoo, I can draw. <laughs> you know, and I got all excited about it, and um, and it was late that day, well, and I drove a you know a long way to get to my cabin, so I, I put it aside. The next day, I thought, well, now if I did one yesterday, I could do two today, and so sure enough, I went into meditation, and they showed me two more, and it, I got to where I was doing six of them a day. I took the the pad of paper and I divided it into six squares and I would draw a glyph in each of the six squares and um, and they would either tell me they would show me the picture first or they would tell me the name of it and then show me the picture or they would tell me what it was and then the picture and then the name I mean you know it was different with each one and about forty some odd into this maybe forty five I don't know um, I started getting sick. I started having heart palpitations um, that actually um, were AFib, um, and my blood pressure was sort of going through the roof. And I don't do allopathic medicine, but I had a really good holistic chiropractor in Atlanta, and I made an appointment with him because I was really feeling bad. And I had a pretty good idea that related to these glyphs that I was drawing. And so I brought what I had done with me to, and made an appointment with him, and I said, you know, I need your help. I need you to do acupuncture on me and fix this. And so he sat me down, and he, and he started, he got a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff, and he started listening to my heart, and he said, Gene, wait a minute, you need to go to the hospital. And I said, no, 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 you don't understand. I don't do allopathic medicine. You know me well enough, Guru, so I to know that I don't do allopathic medicine. He says, no, I'm your doctor, and I'm telling you, you need to go to the hospital. Your blood pressure's through the roof, and your heart sounds like the Maxwell House coffee song, that bum, 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 you know. <laughs> um, uh, I said, no, I'm not going to the hospital. And he, he told me three times, and then he said, okay, fine. Um, then I'll do acupuncture, and we'll see if we can try to um, bring this, rein this in and, and do what we need to do. And he was te- he was muscle testing me and, and looking at all this stuff, and um and, and he would hold those glyphs up in front of me, and my heart would go crazy. He'd put them behind his back, and everything would calm down. And so he finally put me on the table and started sticking needles in me, and, and, then, and he left. And as soon as he did, you know, I'm laying there in the dark with needles stuck all over my body, and, and I called out to my guys, and I said, listen up, guys, you've got to back off because you're killing me. And they, they started laughing, and they said, no, 
you need to back off. We never told you that you needed to bring in six, six of these a day. This is not a race. There's no time frame and no time limit on this, and you need to slow down because you're processing more energy than your body can handle. And I said, but wait a minute, you asked me to bring these in to help people. What if people look at my cards and it makes them sick? And they said, that's not going to happen because anybody who uses your cards isn't actually bringing all of this energy into themselves before they put it on paper. Mm. And I was like, okay, well, that's a good thing. And, you know, and when he came back, you know, at the end of the acupuncture session, my blood pressure was normal and my heartbeat was normal. And um, I just, I slowed down. I actually didn't receive any more for several days, maybe even a week. And then I started just bringing them in one a day and until I had all 142 of them. And that's how it happened. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Well, when we come back from our break, we will hear more about the other authors in the book and what their content is. And because of Healthy Life Network, both Jean and I are on this network. Uh, I'm with you each month this time on Monday. And as an international transformational teacher, I work with individuals and groups providing powerful information from <clears throat> your guides to connect with your Akashic Records. Uh, I wrote the manifestation book, Be a Genie, and I taught worldwide since 1994. Our customers tell us that the Genie workshops and books give them the tools and experiences to understand and apply manifestation of the secret. I've also taught sacred geometry and meditation for over 15 years and have released both guided TV versions and a DVD workshop for the Merkaba. I've also uh, taught Akashic Records. And, in fact, that's what I'm doing here in Asia. I am also the founder of a central oil blend called Aramandala. And you can learn about those on the Aramandala site or on my website, Maureen St. Germain. So when you listen to the show, you're part of a huge network of helping angels, really, who are interested in sharing their knowledge and their understanding and helping you to explore and discover what you need that will help you lead your best life. Look to us for transformation, which means permanent change, and to give you the ideas you need to inspire and grow in your connection with the universe and to increase your relationship with God and the people around you. Now, when we come back, we're going to learn more about Realities of Creation, the new book that's out and has just come out May 1st. We'll be right back. This is Maureen St. Germain. Essential oils have been used since ancient times, but there has never been a formulation as amazing and original as Maureen St. Germain's Aro Mandalas, a line of essential oils that combine three spiritual and healing traditions. No matter what negative emotional issue you may be dealing with, there is an Aero Mandala's essential oil that can help you grow and reach a positive emotional response. So clear out those unwanted emotions and feel empowered with Aero Mandala's essential oils. Visit MaureenStGermain.com and click on Essential Oil Blends. That's MaureenStGermain.com. Shh, over here. Here's a secret for a virus-free computer. ESET. They've been a pioneer in the antivirus industry for over 25 years. 25 years of innovative, top-rated antivirus protection. ESET's award-winning security solutions provide a safe online experience for over 100 million home and business computer owners. They are so affordable, fast, and simple to use. So be gone, you blue screen of death. ESET's on my computer. If it's not on yours, visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on ESET now. So you want to change your life? Well, I have a great, easy, and stress-free way on how to do that. Get a guided meditation with Maureen St. Germain. Powerful guided meditations on CDs. Or you can download an MP3 to your computer or tablet. There's so many to choose from, and once you get one, they are so reasonably priced and work so well. You'll probably want them all, and why not? Visit MaureenStGermain.com and click on Books and Media. Do it now. MaureenStGermain.com. Books and Media. And help change your life now. Radio your way. HealthyLife.net Attention practical mystic listeners. 
Here's a deal you won't want to refuse. If you've ever wanted a chance to get a free Akashic reading with Maureen St. Germain, then here's all you have to do to increase your chance for a totally free reading. Email Maureen. Tell her your problem, and if your story is used on the Practical Mystic Show, then you'll win a 30-minute Akashic reading with Maureen St. Germain. How easy is that? And the email address is easy to remember, too. Radio at MaureenStGermain.com. Email her now and get a chance at that free reading. Radio at MaureenStGermain.com. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network. back. This is Maureen St. Germain, and my special guest today is Jean Adrian, author of Inner Speech and the co-author of the new book, Realities of Creation, that I co-authored with her, along with seven other wonderful authors. So I thought we'd get started telling you a little about, about what you'll find. So give an overview, if you would, Jean, about this, because it's so, so exciting to know that a book like this is a com- compendium of many people's best work. Absolutely. Um, so the, um, the person who helped me to orchestrate the technical side of it is a woman by the name of Leslie Amerson. She lives in Austin, Texas, and her work is about emotional mastery, about um, finding how your emotions are able to be the fuel for your creations, but they can't mm. support you if they're not being used in their positive way. Very that, cool. Does that make sense? Very cool. Um, yeah, and absolutely. so that's what you know, she's written about is, you know, understanding what your emotions are and then allowing them to, um, you know, mastering them so that you put them are to work able for to you direct instead of against you. Yeah. Put them yeah. to work for you instead of against mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Very cool. So okay. the next person is um, Julia Griffin, and Julia Griffin is an intuitive. She lives in um, she lives in Georgia as well. I apologize for my dog. There's something out in the yard, probably a deer, uh, and he resonates with that. Um, and uh, Julia is an amazing intuitive. Um, she also is an animal communicator. She works with wolves. Now but, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's so cool. That's yeah. why your dog was barking. You don't have to apologize. You say, <laughs> yay, Julia, because she communicates with the animal kingdom. That's right. That's right. And um, her aspect of conscious creation has to do with being in integrity, um, finding what your true presence is. Uh, her website is, is yourtrueself.com. Um, mm-hmm. And... Um, that, that when you're in alignment with your truth, then you fuel your ability to create. So that's what Julia Very brings cool. to the table. Um, the third person is Lori Houston. And Lori's facet of conscious creation is working with the power of the heart. You know, we all know how powerful our minds are and our thoughts out of our minds. And the Heart Math Institute has shown that the heart is way more powerful than the brain. And so if you can harness the power of the heart and use that brain behind your creation and the thoughts of the heart, then Lori shows you how you can use heart energy to um, you know, to fuel your conscious creation. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. So the next one is Kathleen O'Keefe Canavas. And Kathleen is a three-time cancer, breast cancer survivor. Oh, my and goodness. her aspect of conscious creation has to do with listening to your dreams. Kathleen found out about breast cancer for herself three times, but she found out through her dreams. She went for mammograms. They were clear. Doctor said, no problem, you were all good. And she would have a dream. And in the dream... A being came to her and said, hello, you need to go back to your doctor and have him dig deeper because you have cancer and it needs to come out of your body. 
And wow. so she almost had a fight with the doctor to get him to actually do um, exploratory surgery. And when they did, they found stage four breast cancer. Hmm. And uh, they removed it. She did treatment for that. Um, and I don't know the extent of the treatment, but anyway. Um, and then two years later, the dream came back and said, hello, Kathleen, it's back. And she just had her checkup where they said she was completely cancer-free. By this time, she'd trained her doctor to listen to her. And sure enough, wow. again, um, you know, so, so she, she shows how dreams can assist you in creating what you want in your life and not what you don't want. Mm. So um, the fifth one is Suzanne Streisauer. And Str- Suzanne is all, she's an intuitive as well, but she's all about multidimensionality. And so um, her chapter of our book is about looking at the different dimensional aspects of yourself and using all of your dimensional aspects to support conscious creation. Nice. And then the next one is Lynn Waldrop. Lynn is a medical intuitive. And so her work is all about how your body can, how you can work with your body to allow the body to uh, assist you in creating what you want in your reality. And then the next to the last, because you're the final one, um, but the next to the last one is Linda Minnick. And Linda is a life coach, and she is talking about um, reality and it really understanding your perception of reality and how that affects your ability to create what you want in your life. And then, Maureen, what is your chapter about? Mine's on the higher self connection and what you can do to get 100% accuracy from your higher self. So then as you do all these other things and you're moving around in them, you'll know that it's accurate and you can also make decisions in your life to help you with your higher self. And my story goes back to a time when I was teaching a very, very well-known meditation, and I was the most well-known teacher of this work. And there was a part of it where you weren't allowed to activate at a certain step until you had permission from your higher self. And the higher self connection was implied. Everyone was told, wait till your higher self says it's okay, but they never told you how to know if it was your higher self. And as I began teaching this work, I realized that nobody could tell. It wasn't just me. And so as I began working with the students, I developed a connection with the higher self, and then I asked my higher self to teach me how to teach others. So I actually got the information from my higher self and then shared it with the students. And it's a protocol, which means you don't have to trust that something will come in. You actually follow the steps, and six weeks later you have the accuracy that you've always wanted. And there isn't anybody out there that will give you that kind of accuracy with your higher self. So it's amazing as a tool and can be used for anything. You know, I I like to tell the story that one of the most important decisions in a woman's life is getting married. And I had met this man that seemed like a nice enough guy, but I wasn't interested in him because I'm an East Coast girl and he's a West Coast guy. And so when he first, uh, wanted to get together, I kept pushing him off. You know, like when he said, well, I'd like to see you, I said, well, you're going to have to come to New York. And I'm thinking, like, move to New York? And he said, well, when should I come? And I said, I have no idea. Why don't you look on my website and figure it out? If I'm not teaching <laughs> somewhere, I'm home in New York. So the next time I heard from him, he said, okay, I bought two airline tickets, but one for the only weekend you're not teaching in September and one for the only weekend you're not teaching in October. And I remember thinking, oh, my God, I had no idea this guy was going to do this. I thought he would just blow me off. (laughs) And so um, uh, little by little, you know, the information came in. And when I asked, what do I do about this guy that's, you know, in hot pursuit, my guide said, build a bridge. And that had never occurred to me. And that's why the higher self is so cool because you'll get information that, you know, kind of like you with the drawing business. It's like, I don't do that. That's not my thing. 
and then you get a very clear message on on what the next piece is, and you go, okay, fine, whatever, and you show up, and that's the cool part, showing up. So this book, I think, gives everyone a bunch of different kinds of tools to to make your life magical. All you have to do is show up. Just show up. So let's talk about um, where can a person get this book and, and when it's available. It was available in May 1st, right? Yes. And we're halfway okay. through um, our telesummit, which is called The Realities of Creation. And well, now, on May 6th, will that still be available? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so people it's can all go back May. And, and you, okay, so let's talk about the telesummit in a minute because we're going to take a break in just a second. I want to go back okay. to you can get the book on Amazon and some bookstores. Mm-hmm. And okay. Barnes and & Noble. And, okay. Yeah, and okay. Uh, so, and listeners, if you buy the book, I've got a special gift for you. If you buy the book and then you go back to Amazon uh, I'm going to only do this on Amazon, but if you go back to Amazon and write a review of our book and you send me a copy of that review, I do something. I've been doing this now for like seven months. Um, I do something every Tuesday night called the Heart Centered Support Group, and I do this in conjunction with Lori Houston, which is another one of the authors um, of the book, and I will give you a free month of our Heart Centered Support Group if you write a review of our book, The Realities of Creation, and send me a copy of it. And you can do that by sending it to gene at geneadrian.com. So how Third about class. that for a free deal? Mm-hmm. That's exactly. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the summit and all the cool things that are in that. So um, um, right now, The Realities of Creation is a book that will it be available as an e-book as well, Jean? Yes, it is. Do you know? Okay. Very good. Very good. So join us in uh, understanding more about the realities of creation in your world and get the book, uh, discover all these different authors that have given you the best of the best as this com- compilation of their knowledge and their work. I want to go back for just a second. Um, to talk about part of your work because I have you live. And I will tell you, listeners, that I have worked with Jean's DNA glyphs, and they are (laughs) mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. And they're fun. Now, um, I read the book, um, you know, as, as uh, part of, you know, writing an endorsement for it. But I got so wrapped up in the material as a reader that I couldn't put it down. My husband finally said, you know, you do have your own book you're supposed to be working on, Maureen. <laughs> so it's a, it's a real testament to you, Jean, what a great piece of work this is. And to have it in an abbreviated form like this will be so amazing for you as our listener. When we come back, we're going to tell you about the summit that if you have not signed up for, you will learn a little bit about the summit and how you can learn even more and get some more free gifts. We're all about gifts, right? So look for that when we come back. This is Maureen St. Germain with our guest, Jean Adrian, and authors of Realities of Creation. So, you want to change your life? Well, I have a great, easy, and stress-free way on how to do that. Get a guided meditation with Maureen St. Germain. Powerful guided meditations on CDs. Or you can download an MP3 to your computer or tablet. There's so many to choose from, and once you get one, they are so reasonably priced and work so well. You'll probably want them all, and why not? Visit MaureenStGermain.com and click on Books and Media. Do it now. MaureenStGermain.com books and media and help change your life now when you're looking for bedding department store prices can shock you we'll be shocked no more 
Sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. The loving, healing energy of the Akashic Records is a profound tool for self-exploration and empowerment, and these records include every thought, word, and deed of your life throughout time. With so much information, you will probably need a guide to help you access and interpret it. That's where Marine St. Germain's trained and certified Akashic Record Guides can help. Discover what you really need to know with an Akashic Record Guide reading. For more information, visit AkashicRecordsGuides.org or visit MaureenStGermain.com and click Akashic Readings. Essential oils have been used since ancient times, but there has never been a formulation as amazing and original as Maureen St. Germain's Aro Mandalas, a line of essential oils that combine three spiritual and healing traditions. No matter what negative emotional issue you may be dealing with, there is an Aro Mandalas essential oil that can help you grow and reach a positive emotional response. So clear out those unwanted emotions and feel empowered with Aero Mandala's essential oils. Visit MaureenStGermain.com and click on Essential Oil Blends. That's MaureenStGermain.com. Radio your way. HealthyLife.net Welcome back. This is Maureen St. Germain, the Practical Mystic, Shock Radio to help every day be a day of heaven on earth. So my special guest today is Jean Adrian, and we are talking about the book Realities of Creation by the publisher Rainbow Ridge, and they have published Ivana Walsh and someone else you mentioned to me that I didn't know. Lynn Andrews. Oh, Lynn Andrews played his book. Well, that's fabulous. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, we have a special surprise because uh, I had forgotten about this. I've got my mind on other things this week. Um, but Jean was telling me that there's going to be a big promotion on May 11th, this Friday, uh, for the book and a big promotion where all the authors are going to be in like a little marathon, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you can call in, and the number, the call-in number for guests is 646-929-1546. And you can talk to the um, any of the authors about their segment. But we're going to do this from 1 to 3 Eastern time, so it will be 10 to noon Pacific. And... Um, each of the authors will speak for 10 minutes about their topic and just kind of give you little nuggets of information um, so that you can learn more about our book. And then we're, you know, we're, we're ha- asking people to um, purchase, hopefully, uh, the one we're trying to drive to, e- to uh, bestseller is going to be the ebook. So we've got a reduced special price on the ebook that day only. I can't tell you what that is right now. Um, if I did, I'd have to shoot you. Um, and uh, you'll get a, a reduced price on the book that day only. And um, so we're, we're wanting people to buy the book and help us support us in making this book a Amazon bestseller. Well, you know, this is so cool because, um, you know, I travel a lot. I know you travel a lot, and lots of people do. And I take my iPad with me everywhere, and lots of people travel with a Kindle. And all my go-to books I have on Kindle. Even though I have hard copies of them, I still then turn around and buy an e-book because I want to have it with me. Uh And it's so amazing how people have begun doing that as a resource. I still like to hold a book in my hands when I read a book. But 
if you want information and you want to look it up, you want to have it right there. And in the old days, way, way long ago, there, there, the weight limit was like 75 pounds. And I will never forget the day that I showed up at the airport. It had been coming every single Friday for years to go to a new city and teach. And they said, you're overweight. And I said, how can that be? The bag's the same as it was last week. And they just looked at me kind of dumbfounded. And I said, did you happen to change the weight limit? And they said, well, actually, yes, it used to be 75, it's now 50. And I just went, oh, no. <laughs> no so they, waved, you. they waved it for me that week, but I had to pull all my books out. It was terrible yeah. because I used to show people the books that I wanted them to read, you know, and to help mm-hmm. them along. And the cool thing about this book, this is a book you can keep, you know, keep one in the bathroom, keep one in the car, keep one where you get stuck and wait. And you're going to be amazed because it's going to give you that, overview and that information in a great way that will allow you to start to tap into this vast wisdom. It means it's such unique areas of knowledge. Um, and that, that to me is absolutely fabulous. I'm so excited about this. So yeah, me too. And you know, I use ebooks as a way to kind of vet whether or not I want to buy the hard copy. Because, because, you know, there, there's so much less expensive, <laughs> and, and then if, if it's something that really piques my interest, then I'll go buy the hard copy as well. Hmm. But I buy them all as an ebook first. Very cool. Very cool. I do it just the other way around. I like to have that hard copy, and then I'll buy an ebook later. Yeah, um, you know, I'm, so, I'm part of the old school. I, I still love the way a book smells. Hmm. You know, and you can't get that off of reading it on Kindle. I'm sorry. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Until they come up with smell vision you know. It's just not going to be the same. So that, that's Friday, May. It's actually Wednesday, May 11th. Oh, Wednesday, May 11th. Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Very good. Wednesday, May 11th. So in a couple of days, you can tune in and give us the phone number again. And I'll put it up on my uh, website as well, and Jean will have it on hers. Mm-hmm. And it's 646-929-1546. And that's the chance you have to buy the ebook if you haven't uh, made a decision by the paper copy. So yeah, and let's also talk about on Blog Talk Radio, um, the show on Blog Talk Radio that will be running during that time is Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod, and that is Kathleen Canavis's Blog Talk Radio show. Aha! Uh-huh. So they can listen in on Blog Talk Radio if they don't want to call in. And they would just go in and search for the Wicked Housewives on Cape Cod, and it's from 1 to 3 Eastern Time on Wednesday, May 11th. Very cool. Very cool. So let's talk some more about the, the DNA work that you do. Mm-hmm. Um, how, does science know that there's more DNA? You know, I, I don't think they figured it out yet, but I think that they will because I think you and I both know, Maureen, these children who are coming in today, um, uh-huh. and you call them what you want, the crystals, the rainbows, I mean, everybody's got a name for it, but they're genetically different than you and I. Hmm. And I think that um, at some point science is going to figure this out as they begin to work with the allopathic anomalies that they're beginning to find in today's kids. And that's going to open them up to realizing that there's probably more to genetic structure than um, than what they thought in the past. I mean, you know, when they when they did the human genome study back in the day, um, they they found on the DNA strands they found what certain you know portions of the DNA did, and then the rest of it they just said, well, that's just junk. Hmm. You know, so, I don't think God made no um, junk, you know. I so. want to ask you some questions, but I want to give our readers a chance to get to your website and to mm-hmm. reach out to you. Why don't you give us your contact information? Sure. My website is com. That's J-E-A-N-A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E.com. And... I also have on my website a special gift for your listeners, Maureen. If they sign up for my newsletter, um, you know, my, my healing modality is called Interspeak. And many years ago I had this 
beautiful Russian man who did online gaming, and he said, I'm going to take your Interspeak card deck, and I'm going to make it into an online game, and I'm going to give it to you. And so because he did that for me for free, uh, I give that away. Anyone who signs up for my newsletter will get an autoresponder that will give them the link to the URL for the online version of the Interspeak cards, completely free. And if you don't like my newsletter, you can opt out at any time and still continue to use those cards. They're very powerful healing cards. And then we'll do karmic That's cards. awesome. That's just yeah. awesome. I'm all about the free gifts today. Mm-hmm. I think so. What a great gift. You know, I, and I truly, I truly uh, want all of you to know that I think this work that she does, that Jean does, will serve as another tool and, the, you know, the, the nice thing about the work that you will find with Jean, either the, the, the DNA cards or this inner speak work, is, you know, sometimes you want things to get better. Sometimes you want to be better. But don't make me do anything. You know, don't make my mind work. Just, you know, what can be done that I don't have to do anything. You know, it's kind of like give me a pill. But mm-hmm. these cards are a little bit like that in the sense that you don't have to think. You just use the visuals. Yeah. And the visuals impact you. Well, you know, everything is energy. And so it, everything is, and, and energy is a frequency. So when you look at these pictures, there's a frequency involved in that. And it happens automatically without you having to do anything. Mm, it's fabulous. So um, you say that the DNA has a soul. Mm. Yeah, you know. That? It has to be so. You know, back even in um, uh, one of the, uh, the, the things in the Emerald Tablets from Soth says, as above, so below. So um, if I have a soul, then every component of my body has to have a soul as well. Every cell has to have a soul. And then there inside the cell, you've got the DNA and the RNA. That has to have a soul as well because it's a holographic universe. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, when we come back, we have even more gifts for you, more surprises. And I want to uh, tell you right away that if you stay with us this long, you are in for a real treat because Jean's going to start to tell you about the summit that has already been rolling, but you can still sign up. And the benefit of the summit is these amazing gifts that are being offered by each of the authors. And since there's nine authors, buy one book and get nine gifts. How cool is that? Yeah, I and mean, then you don't even have to buy the book. But, you know, we would love for you to buy our book. We would love for you to support us in becoming the best-selling authors that we know we are. Um, but the webinar series is called The Realities of Creation. It runs every Monday and Thursday night from 7 to 8.30 Eastern, and um, everything is recorded. So if that's not convenient with your schedule, then you'll be, get, you'll, you'll be given the links to listen to the recordings after every show. So you can go back and listen at your leisure, and you can listen as many times as you want, and we won't take them down. So uh, you can listen for as long as you want. It's an unlimited free experience. And nice. um, so you get nine webinars. They're an hour and a half with audience participation. Uh, you can either call in. Uh, you'll be, you know, when you sign up, you'll be given the link and a phone number so you can call in and actually talk to the presenter and listen over your telephone. Or you can come in on the Internet as a webcast and you can ask questions of the presenter during, you know, using the Q&A aspect. Uh, of the webinar software that we're using. Um, and, again, you know, it's, it's all free. And each of yeah, these... I think it's a great way to really explore what is in the book and to figure out, you know, I like this group of people and I like this body of knowledge. Um, and I, I still think it's amazing to get the compilation like that. I'm astounded. It's, you Absolutely. know, it's an idea whose probably time will catch on to, you know, as uh, people become more and more interested in so many things and more and more information is brought out. You know, and I'm not sure that this is the truth, but I think it is. 
I think we're probably the first group of telesummit people who've ever actually written a book based on their telesummit. Mm-hmm. You know? I, yeah, I agree. I've never heard either. I don't know the answer either, but certainly I've never heard of it before. And that part's cool, too, because it means that you can use this knowledge of the summit and then get a resource to stay with you. Because, you know, I don't know how people keep up with all the knowledge that's being brought out and all the opportunity that's being given to them. But there's got to be a way to have a resource, and this book will be that resource. Yeah, absolutely. So... Um, let's talk a little bit more about the book. Um, what do you think, you know, as you look at the book and you look at all the different participants, you know, what what jumps out at you that would be the compelling idea that makes a person buy the book? Well, you know, I think the thing that is the most impressive to me, Maureen, is the fact that, this book shows you, the reader, how powerful you are. I think most of us um, tend to become very complacent about our ability to control and, uh, you know, and, and really capitalize on our reality and to manifest the things that we completely desire. And what this book does is it reiterates nine times how powerful you are, and it does it from a different perspective with each one of those nine iterations. That's so cool. So if you don't get it one way, if you, you know, if you don't resonate with my way of, of doing it, then I bet you're going to resonate with Maureen's way. And if you don't resonate with Maureen's way, I bet you're going to resonate with Linda's way. You know, so it's nine facets of a very beautiful gemstone. Very cool. Very cool. So as you listen to this, one of the ways that you will be able to gain this knowledge is to participate in the Telesummit. Pick up your free gift. Figure out if you like this as a way to learn and a way to gain knowledge. And then if you like our work, buy the book because, after all, you want to support authors who are doing this work as their life work. Absolutely. Um, and then once you buy the book, then please support us by writing a review. And if you yeah. do that, send me a copy of that review, and I'll gift you with a free month of my Heart Center Support Group, which meets every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Jean, you know, one of the things that, that I'm still in awe about is how this book just kind of fell into manifestation. You know, yeah. every step of the way, you brainstormed and, oh, let's do this. Oh, we can do this. Oh, we can do this. And that's, I'm, I'm still standing back and like, wow, that's so amazing. Yeah, but you know what? I think the beautiful thing about it is not only that we did it, but that if we can do it, you know, you and me and seven others, then everybody who's listening to this radio show can take something that their dream or their passion, and they can make it happen too. That's very cool. What a great idea. Um, as you think about these things, I'd like you to give the web address again for the summit mm -hmm. and the phone number again for the special promotion of the e-book. So go ahead and do that. I lost that. Let me just see if I can find that again. But reality is, I have the phone number. The phone number for the um, ebook specials this week is 646 926 1549, and that's 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can also listen to it on Wicked Housewives of Cape Cod, Cape Cod which is on Blog Talk Radio. Radio. <laughs> on Blog Talk Radio. And then um, go to Realities of Creation website and sign up for the Summit and listen to all the interviews. And I have yes. that on my website, MaureenStGermain.com. I'm sure you have it on yours. Mm-hmm. And that's Yeah, .com. And so you, you haven't missed are... anything because it, it started April 27th, but you haven't missed anything because everything has been recorded. Very good. 
So remember to take advantage of these opportunities, these specials and discounts that are coming up. And be sure to sign up for Jean's newsletter and get her free gifts and my newsletter and get my monthly free gifts. And remember that you are special. And remember that every day can be a day of heaven on earth. Just ask for it. This is Maureen St. Germain, the Practical Mystic, along with Jean Adrian, wishing you a day of heaven on earth for yourself and everyone you come in contact with.